Hi, I'm Giselle. Hi, I'm Jared. Hi, I'm William. Hi, I'm Jade. Hi, I'm Mia. Hi, I'm Tommy. Hi, I'm Gerardo, the narrator. It all began when Miss Frizzle showed her class a movie about cells. They all knew trouble was about to start because Miss Frizzle was the strangest teacher ever. Okay class, today I'm going to show you a video about cells. We are all made of millions and millions of different kinds of cells. Every living thing is made out of cells. You know that the movie is only the beginning of show for our class. She probably has lots of books we'll have to read about cells. We'll probably have to go on a field trip. You know what that means. I can't take the pressure. What? I knew this class. Why is everyone looking so nervous? Last time we went on a field trip, we ended up inside of a hurricane. Remember what time we ended up at the ocean floor? My mom might keep me home tomorrow. My favorite field trip was when we went through the solar system. So you mean we might end up going inside a cell? You never know. Weird things seem to always happen to our class. Are you all ready to learn all about how cells are made and how they work? Maybe. I want to go home. Everyone remember to bring their field trips forms back tomorrow. We are going to the Discovery Museum for their class on plant and animal cells. I think I'll be sick tomorrow. <laughs> Hi guys. I hear you're going on a field trip tomorrow with Miss Frizzle. Yeah. yeah. You know that I expect your very best behavior. Uh-huh. Okay, now Miss Frizzle, I want us to say something. Please don't let anything happen to these boys and girls. I don't want to have to do what I had to do the last time, and that's call all those parents and tell them what happened. Uh, can you promise me that everything is taken care of and that you'll have a good time? Of course, everything will be fine, but I can't make any promises. Well, I know that, but I certainly hope to see you all when you get back tomorrow safe and sound. If we survive. Well, you better survive. The whole class went home that night, and some of them had really bad nightmares about the field trip tomorrow, except for Mia. She has never gone on a field trip with Miss Frizzle before. All the class was on time for the field trip, except Jarrett. I wonder why. Okay class, let's get on the bus and get ready to go on the field trip. Wait, not everyone is here yet. We can't leave without Jarrett. He's always late. I wish I was late. I bet he's late on purpose so he doesn't have to go on the field trip. <laughs> get on the bus now, we have to go, we have places to be. Okay everyone, let's make sure we're all sitting down and let's go. Wait Miss Frizzle, I see Jarrett coming. Oh no, he just tripped and fell. Look, he's bleeding. Ow! The students notice that Miss Frizzle is not turning on the ignition. Instead, she pushes a little button on the dashboard and the bus begins to shrink. It appears to be headed right towards the cut on Jared's knee. <laughs> The bus is traveling through Jared's circulatory system. There are lots of blood cells floating around the bus. Jared's body thinks that the school bus is nutrients for one of his cells. plans. We are not going to the Discovery Museum. Instead, we are going to travel inside one of Jared's cells. No! Why? Are you kidding me? Now I'm actually excited for this field trip. I should have told my mom not to let me go on this field trip. I want to go home right now. Does that mean people can only see us if they have a microscope? Yes, we can see some part of a cell with a microscope, so if people look very carefully, they might just be able to see some of our school bus. Oh no! There's a wall right in front of us. We better not hit it or the bus will crash. Don't worry, that's the cell membrane. It is made to let things in and out of the cell. The cell thinks we are nutrients. I don't want the cell to eat me. Hold on, it's gonna get rough. Oh my goodness, we're too young to die. We made it through. We're stuck in something. What is it? 
That is the cytoplasm. It is a jelly that fills the cell and holds the cell's organelles in place. Let's get out and explore a little. What is that big thing right in front of us? That is an organelle called the nucleus. Does anyone remember what the nucleus does? I forgot. I know, it's the make a charge center and acts kind of like the cell's brain. It stores the cell's DNA and controls all of its activity. Oh, right, now I remember. When will I be able to go back to class? When the rest of your class gets back from their field trip. Now you know why it's so important to get to school on time. I know. What is that other thing? Do you mean the organelle? Yeah. That looks like the mitochondria that I saw in class in a picture. What is a mitochondria? The mitochondria is a powerhouse of a cell. <clears throat> it produces energy and helps the cells run. Good job, boys and girls. You really know your organelles. The class and Miss Frizzle get back on the bus and float around in the cytoplasm. Everyone buckle up, we're headed towards that vacuole over there. What does the vacuole do? The vacuole are storage bubbles found inside the cells. They store the food, waste, and water for the cell. I wonder what we are. What do you mean? Are we food, water, or waste? I hope we are waste so we can get out of the cell and go home. Yes, children, I think the cell believes we are waste. Now let's get ready and go back to school. The school bus somehow is able to leave Jared's body and ends up right back in the school parking lot, right next to Jarrett. The students get off the bus and go over to Jarrett and tell him all about being inside a cell in his body. guys go? I was looking all over for you. We actually went inside of a cell. Yeah, we were so small that nobody could see us. I think we were inside you, Jared. How come I miss out all the fun stuff? It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Next time I won't miss out on the field trip. I can't believe you guys left without me. I hope all our field trips are like this one. Well, if you stay in my class, you'll never know what will happen. Bye!